Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome! I'm kind of new to YouTube as well and my name is Kawaii Kula and today I'm going to be doing my first story time slash react video. Usually you can always find me over at twitch.tv forward slash Kawaii Kula. However, I'm having a little bit of a break from Twitch just so that I can try my hand at doing YouTube because I've always wanted to be a YouTuber since I was about 22, which essentially brings us to the video today. Uh, so basically my Facebook keeps reminding me that this time about five years ago I was on my first trip to Japan and uh, back then clearly wanted to get into YouTube. I filmed some footage, wasn't very good, which we're gonna see soon. Um, and basically I'm trying to make my 22 year old self happy by living her dreams and you know trying to get into the whole YouTube thing finally because it's something I've always wanted to do. So. Let's see how we go. If you'd like to keep up to date with all of my YouTube videos coming out um, in the foreseeable future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you want to keep track of all the YouTube videos as they happen. All bloopers from this video will be available at my Patreon, which is linked in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. And without further ado, let the cringe fest begin. Ugh. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, so let me give some context. Uh, this is day one after flying into Japan. Um, my ex, who I was with at the time, obviously, they're ex now, it doesn't matter. Um, basically, they were going to Japan, uh, specifically Tokyo, for a work trip. Um, and they said to me, hey, I have to go to this place in Chiba. Why don't you go have a look and see what's in available in Chiba that you can keep yourself busy with uh, for the day. So essentially I was like looking online and I discovered oh, Tokyo Disneyland's in Chiba. So I went to Disneyland by myself and it was a lot of fun. So here we go. I was, I was also trying out the whole Facebook Live thing at the time. Um, so yeah, I was mostly streaming to family and friends. And yeah, I was very nervous like I am now. Hi guys, so while Matt is busy at work, I'm going to be in Disneyland. So I'll keep posting photos while I'm here. I'm gonna have an absolute oh, blast. Those eyebrows. So far everything's super cute. And basically, uh, I hope you guys can hear me first of all. Yeah, um, no but basically the audio. trains have like Mickey Mouse handles and they play nothing but Disney music. It's the absolute best. So I'll send photos and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye! Bye! <laughs> oh, yep. The trains were really cool. They had like, as I said in the video, they had um, Mickey Mouse handrails and they played the Disney songs and oh, such a good feeling. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I should also point out, because uh, I just realized I didn't say this, that uh, I was basically working retail at the time. So as soon as uh, my ex said, hey, um, I can go to Japan for this. I was like, okay, I'm quitting my job and we're going and it was very risky. <laughs> so basically but I had the savings. I was just like, I've always wanted to go to Japan. Let's go. Doesn't matter about time off. I'm going. And I found a job when I got back. So don't worry. It's okay. I'm semi responsible. I was much more responsible back then than I am now. So it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So here I was able to find a quieter spot. I was in the gift shop, which was like, as soon as you entered into, uh, the park. And again, what was I thinking with those eyebrows? Doesn't matter, I'm gonna, we're gonna react, we're gonna react. Okay, so I'm wearing a little bit quieter now. So now I'm looking at all the really cute Disney merchandise just to get out of my system. Cause you know, I have to get some ears before I go on anything else. So it's like the proper Disney experience. So I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can actually see uh, what the merchandise is. And some of it's really cute already. So we'll see what happens, all right? So. I'll post pictures, obviously, of the things I buy, but let's just look at some of the cute things. Okay, so I'm much more confident now than I was back then, one, but I still get shy. Okay, it's fine. For the ears I might be getting. Sorry for the shaking hand, it's all the adrenaline. Oh yeah, that was um, the thing. Okay. Mad so adrenaline. <laughs> Japan only. <laughs> because so I was just so excited. It was just like, fresh off the plane, is. went to That's Disneyland, didn't know anything um, about the language, so a huge language barrier just... Whew, straight into the deep end. Let's just hope I don't blow everything all at once. Thankfully, I didn't spend all my money. Oh, phone charms was such a thing back then. Remember the iPhone 6 and the 6S? Best, best iPhone cases that you could get. 
You can't get anything close to that now. It's really disappointing. It's actually like a special rice scoop. So cute. They now sell them at Daiso. Fun fact. Winnie the Pooh is huge over here. Mm. Donald's my favorite. I'm trying to find the thing I'm after the most. Oh my gosh. Waiting Mickey and Minnie. Had? Oh, my friends were getting married that year. Actually, my friends did get married that year, so that's, that's why I was like, oh, wedding stuff. Weddings are on the brain. God, girl, fix okay. your goddamn Here's shaky the hand. They've got the little mini popcorn. Film lengthways next time. It's landscape, not portrait. I've learned since then, don't worry. Okay, so we've got some Kingdom Hearts type stuff here. Loving it. It wasn't actually Kingdom so Hearts. <laughs> I just thought it was. I didn't buy that. I mean, come on. I thought I was going to buy it. I didn't buy it. I found something better. <laughs> I didn't buy any of those things, actually. I was trying to be semi-responsible. Yay! So it's also very exciting. Okay, so I got my ears. And I'm back. And I bought the most ridiculous ears possible because why not? Not the most ridiculous. They're still my favorite. They got little earrings. I love them. They're the best. They're great. Ah, so I'm going to show you guys something. And it's oh, the, the cringe. main reason, well not main reason, but like one of the main reasons I'm oh, here. Oh no. Because I'm going house No. And you know, I think I found the right one finally. Oh, no. I'm going to flip this around so you can see, but. I'm so glad I wasn't, some, like, <laughs> I'm so glad I wasn't doing YouTube yeah. back then. <laughs> my new abode where I shall live out my dreams of being a <laughs> Speaking of. I should probably go actually find some of the. Wait, can't even say that. Never mind. Can't even find. Going to find the Disney princess. Tripping on my and words. Nothing's changed. The best. I still do that. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Talk to you guys soon. Mwah. Bye. Also, I just want to point out it was a complete accident that my hair matched my backpack. I can't even remember which one came first. I think my backpack came first, then I dyed my hair. Wasn't intentional. But at least I was able to find my luggage very easily. And I'm back. So I just Okay, the reason I kept saying I'm back is because I kept ever. switching off the stream really right. and then cool. coming like, back. Um, I thought it was an opportunity to meet Stitch, but it was actually yeah. this weird sort of stand-up comedy thing. Um, I wish it was an yeah. opportunity to meet Stitch. Like, obviously, I couldn't understand any of it because it was in Japanese, but it was still amusing nonetheless because basically you're being filmed and um, basically... My eyebrows melting. <laughs> he tells you to do things, you have to pose for things, and he'd go and talk to audience members and say, oh, you know, what's your name? And stuff Again, like that. Again, I couldn't understand Japanese, cool. but I could understand right sort of now, what they're insinuating. I'm going to be doing a quick tour of my crib. Um, oh, God, stop calling it your crib. I don't know how to go about it. So far, super cute. Um, I keep saying it's super yeah, cute apparently throughout like this, this whole thing. <laughs> there's where you can go up the castle. And walk around, which you can't do with the other Disney castles, so that's pretty cool. I accidentally I messed up and way. went through the stairs oh, the wrong way. Let's see how we I go. think it's okay. here. Going up the stairs. One of the staff um, told me I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was like, I can't do it. Never mind. I walked the wrong way. So there you go. <laughs> so I do have to line up if I want to go and walk the castle. Do that afterwards because it is a monstrous queue right now. Um, yeah. It was worth it though. It's definitely so worth it. So I'll show it. you guys. There's a cute little fountain just. Oh, that's so cute. This is a really nice fountain. And then, if you angle the camera correctly, you can have it look like the crown's on her head. I didn't realize that until afterwards. <laughs> I think I saw Alice around here, um, yeah, but so I couldn't like meet her. Really there was so many people around there. So um, yeah, so I'm pretty terrible with this live vlogging stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, baby, you get better. Um, I won't look at it from Later on, later on. It I pulled did up. I saw Doing voiceover Alice after. and I saw uh, Mary Poppins and her beau, the yeah. chimney sweep. I can't remember his name. I know that the actor was different. I, I but, you know, 
Um, okay, now the big Who was I? Okay, so with this one, I was hanging out in the stitch area just sort of trying to cool down because it was very really shady and there was um there was some sort of skit going on. I can't remember what it was. Uh and then I heard music and I was like what is that? That sounds amazing. It sounds important. What is it? So basically you see me gunning in, just absolutely legging for the parade. I was so out of breath. Again with the shaky cam. I think they were introducing Rapunzel as well. She was like the newest princess. That's the only time I got to see the princesses. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. The song was beautiful. The Disney parades just make the whole experience. Look at the dresses! And look at Tinkerbell! <laughs> I'm just like, more of them are coming! Don't worry, it's not the end of the parade! Even though I thought it was, I was like so worried. I'm like, did I miss it? I just recorded the whole thing. <sighs> I really want to go back to Tokyo Disneyland so bad. I haven't been to the American ones yet. Like, I haven't been to the OGs yet, just the Tokyo one. And I've also been to Disney Sea. Which is like, I can't decide which one I like better. They're like, they're both good for different reasons. Tokyo Disneyland's more traditional, whereas Tokyo Disney Sea is specific to Japan. Their outfits are everything. He was great. I don't actually like Alice in Wonderland the movie, but like, I like singing them in the park for some reason. The adrenaline shaky hand continues. Oh, it's the Winnie the Pooh one! Oh. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> How many more are there? It's gotta be Mickey and Minnie coming up soon, right? Oh, there's uh, Mary Poppins. I want one of those carousel, like, um, motorcycle things. I don't know how you describe it, but I want that. There they are! Donald! Donald is best boy. Oh, they're kissing! <laughs> oh my god! Why am I getting so emotional over Disneyland? I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> I think I was crying back then too. <laughs> so magical. And that's the end, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. That's a sponsor. Dacomo is a sponsor. Oh my, oh my god, god. why is my face doing? Lost my mind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 So that was the last of the good Disney footage. The rest was literally just unusable. Okay, so now here is just a quick video where basically I was uh, taking some footage of the shop Galaxy, spelt with three X's. And I actually bought those shorts. I got the pink and blue variant and I still have them to this day. And they were having like a creamy mammy uh, collaboration at the time. There you go. And honestly, I fell in love with this store. I'd never heard of it until then. Those are the shots I got. Um, so yeah, I was just like, I need to film this. Look at this fashion. <gasps> Here is the real life Mario Kart that you see in, uh, I think they go between Shibuya and Shinjuku. This is exactly like I saw them in Shibuya. And basically one of these things is not like the other. So wait until they go and tell me in the comments below which one you can see that doesn't belong part of Mario Kart. It's gonna be very obvious. Oh, I, it's still on my bucket list to do that one day. Another store that I fell in love with called Swimmer. So they actually closed down in 2017, um, the last time I was in Japan. And it just has like house, all these little knickknacks. So like they have household goodies. They also sell shoes, like anything kawaii that you could want, they've got it. Um, and essentially they went out of business in 2017. However, this year they came back. So I'm so happy for that because I was so upset that they ran out of business. Um, 
look and I also had bought like a chandelier thing that you basically hang your clothes uh, from for when you're drying clothes. It's just so cool. So these two uh, mannequin things that you could sit in there and take a free photo with. That was from the robot restaurant in the Golden Guy of Shinjuku. Um, unfortunately, it's permanently closed now. I'm not too sure if that's due to the global panini or uh, prior to that, but it was really cool. Like, they'd constantly have this song on loop, so I'll play it for you now. And apparently um, their actual like performances and everything like that was just off the chains. Like definitely go and have a look on YouTube for any of the robot restaurant clips or anything like that because holy crap, it looked amazing. It also looked terrifying at the same time for me. It was just like too much stimulation, I think. And here is my favorite cafe of all time, the Kawaii Monster Cafe. This honestly broke my heart when I found out that it closed down. I think I only closed down this year due to the global panini. Oh my God, it broke my heart, but I'm so glad I was able to go um, when I had the chance. And here I am entering into the um, Kawaii Monster Cafe and I lost my shit. So basically that cake design is also a stage and it's a rotating stage. Um, there is like a jellyfish themed bar there and it's absolutely amazing. This waitress was so cute, she was so sweet. And then I managed to go into like the lip room, which is like, I don't know, it's got all these cakes and everything. Okay, so can we just appreciate this touchscreen menu? Look at how thick that was. Like they give you like this plastic cake that you order your food from. Just, I loved it. I loved it. It was just so extra and quirky and I love it. Everything I aspire to be. Also fun fact, so the top that I'm wearing right now uh, was designed by Sebastian Masuda and he actually was the one who created uh, the concept and the vision behind the Kawaii Monster Cafe. He also designed this, this is his art from 6% Doki Doki. So he's honestly an inspiration for me. Just everything he creates, everything he touches is just amazing and magnificent and I cannot. Just mwah, 10 out of 10. So this next video I actually forgot, and this is actually a pleasant surprise, that I didn't actually realize I recorded this until I was looking through footage to put for this YouTube video. And basically, at the Quiet Monster Cafe, they'd have burlesque. I'm not sure which nights, I never actually saw the burlesque performances, but they also had just performances during the day. So I'll play this for you all. It was just amazing. <laughs> So the girl who's in all green, she's actually a famous model in Japan. Um, and I actually followed her on Instagram before I knew she even worked at the Kawaii Monster Cafe. So it was actually pretty cool. I managed to get a photo taken with her. On to the next one. Let's go. Okay, so fun fact. When I was in Japan 2016, which was this year, they were having Shin Godzilla release. So I had no idea at the time. I have since sh uh, seen Godzilla. I have since seen Shin Godzilla. Oh, that's a tongue twister. And I didn't realize that it was the creator behind Evangelion who 
uh, made Shin Godzilla. So I just kept seeing Godzilla and Evangelion in a lot of uh, department stores and things like that that were promoting it. And I thought it was honestly Evangelion versus Godzilla, as they have said uh, in the thing. And I thought it was a movie coming out, but it was mostly just promotion for Shin Godzilla, which still is really cool. So the more you know. Okay, now with this next video, um, I filmed it because it was a really cool thing that was going on in the street at the time. I still to this day have no idea uh, what the relevance of it was. So let me know in the comments below if you know what is happening here. This was around September, I'm pretty sure. It was really cool either way. Everyone just stopped in the street just to be like, this, let's film it. something traditional, potentially blessing based. Wasn't sure if it was the uh, new season or anything like that. I would definitely just love to find out, so please tell me. I love the combination of just like modern Japan and traditional Japan just coexisting together. Just the juxtaposition is just my favorite. So that's everything from Tokyo. Next, we're going to be going through Kyoto, but mostly Nara, where they have like the bowing deer. So this is basically like a uh, tourist information, like it says on the thing. But um, basically, it was a cute, fun, uh, informational video that was playing, and the deer just made me so happy. And like, look at it, it's dance, it's so cute, and the song just ah, look at it. can tell me anything Mr. Deer and I'll follow it. I'll follow you anywhere. Okay, so here are two videos where there's there's the one where I've got the two deer here. They were both trying to headbutt me because I had, um, what is it? We had the, these special deer cookies that you could buy and they come like in a little packet like about this big and you can feed the deer cookies. And the other picture of me where the deer is sm uh, sniffing my hand, that was when we first entered into the park. And it was just so cool being up close and like personal. Like these deer were like really tame because of like, you know, constant human um, interaction and things like that. I was a little bit nervous because of the antlers, thankfully nothing happened. Um, unfortunately, I cannot say the same thing for one of my friends who was also there um, at the time and she copped her antler to the butt. So she didn't have quite a good memory of it as I did, but these things happen. And this is why they call them the bowing deer. So they bow when you bow to them. Such a polite deer. That was so cute. This one was getting a little bit fresh. It wanted the cookie, so there's the cookie. And you feed them and they're really gentle when you fed them, but yeah, <laughs> they're just like, give me more cookie, please. I keep bowing, I do what you want. <laughs> Give me the cookie. <laughs> there it was trying to bite me. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Back away. It's like, I would like a cookie, please. <laughs> Another thing I also miss, and also you can see my hair like losing its pink in here very quickly. This is only a few weeks in and just pink does not stain my hair. Whereas this blue is like months old and doesn't leave. But basically one thing that I love about Japan is that a lot of their gins are, uh, was like gin and tonic if you order it anywhere, it's five dollars. Five dollars! Which is so much cheaper, like I come back to Australia after that, I had to pay nine dollars for a gin. And like, a small gin. Whereas this one they give you like, a big tall glass of gin, gin and tonic, for five dollars. Just never change Japan, please never change. And now we're basically going to uh, wrap up the video with some really fun pop culture -y uh, collectible knickknacks. So essentially these were from Mandarake. Um, I can't remember which one it was from exactly, unfortunately, uh, cause it's been such a long time, but they have a few Mandarake stores, uh, and I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Either way, uh, they have a few of these stores 
all around Japan. I think like the most uh, famous one is in Nakano. Um, so definitely go and check them out. They're a sort of secondhand slash antique place where you can buy anything that's otaku and just from any fandom you could want. It's just gorgeous. So like here I am looking at a whole like display case dedicated to Sailor Moon merch and I was speechless. I was beyond words. Like you see some other magical girl items there as well from other anime and manga. Um, but I lost my shit. I was just like, I need to be surrounded by this at all times. If I could take any of this stuff home with me, I would. Look at all of this. Just, uh, this is what I would love to just have in a display case myself. If I could just buy this entire display case, put it here. Perfect. Just, please. <laughs> this honestly just made me so happy. I wish we had like secondhand stores like this in Australia. Like, please, just just a little bit, just a crumb, just a crumb of you know Sailor Moon merch. <sighs> They're so beautiful. And this wraps up my first story time slash react video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, the next YouTube video, I'm hoping to have them out like once a week. The next one will hopefully be an unboxing, because uh, I've always wanted to do an unboxing video, so hopefully some things arrive in the next week or two that I can unbox. Otherwise, I might do a makeup tutorial. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see uh, for my next video, and we'll make it happen. Okay? Cool. Bye!